Hello, my name is Perena Gumang and I'm the Edward Orton Jr. Chair in Ceramic Engineering, Professor in Material Science and Engineering, and we are here at the Fontana Lab of the Ohio State University. And we are really excited to have the American Ceramic Society joining us to discuss electrospinning. Professor Guma's Advanced Ceramic Research Laboratory. This is where we do all of our research in ceramics and electrospinning. This is a conventional electrospinning setup. So here we have our power supply, our syringe pump, and then our collector. And the power supply here is used to create a static electric field between our needle, where our fluid is coming out of, and our collector, where our fibers will be deposited. As the fibers travel through the air towards the collector, the solvent evaporates and leaves us with dry fibers on the collector. If I just peel this off, you can see this is kind of a rather strong, but very soft, a little bit sticky, um, non-woven mat. We do electrospinning because it has applications in bioscaffolding through tissue regeneration, energy generation through photocatalysis, and water filtration. Electrospinning started like the poor man's way to nanotechnology. It was easy to set up in a lab, it was easy to try different recipes and make new materials. However, it wasn't scalable and that really prevented uh, its growth beyond the lab and into the marketplace. Uh, in the last 20 years, there have been uh, several efforts to make this process uh, amenable to manufacturing and large-scale processing. And that's why I envision we're going to see a lot of uh, middle-sized uh, enterprises uh, spanning, uh, working on nanofiber uses and applications. So the Orton Ceramic Foundation uh, has been sponsor of my research and my endowed chair, and we have very close collaborations over the years I've been at OSU. Uh, but particularly for the high throughput electrospinning system, I received an accelerator award from the state of Ohio and the uh, OSU, and that allowed me to collaborate with uh, the Orton to produce and manufacture uh, these devices at a desktop high throughput scalable devices uh, for uh, making nanofibers of all different types of materials. I'm really excited about the future of this technology because I envision that there are going to be so many new industries uh, spanning, uh, whether it's going to be uh, for uh, tissue engineering, whether it's going to be for energy applications, novel catalysts, uh, novel materials for water splitting and hydrogen fuel formation, or whether it's going to be uh, filtration applications, water remediation, or even now the artificial meat business. Uh, there are so many things and others that we have not even thought about yet, both for functional and structural applications of all materials and ceramics in particular. 